Welcome everybody back with a video today in the background you're gonna see Ekro my friend guildmate He has sent me a, a recording of his arena gameplay. So let's look at it. So He told me to live react to it. I'm gonna be honest extra. I already watched it <laughs> So the whole topic of this video right why I do have this in the background is to say that uh This is the map that can get you bad pretty much right so my friend in this gameplay, you will see he is versus a modern. As you can see the score already is about 15,000 to 6,000 or 7,000 currently. So, if you don't know, you can definitely win against a modern. I'm going to say that right now. You can definitely win against a modern. Now, is it ideal that you're going to win 100% of the time? No, right? No. But I do think it does depend heavily on your team. So, let's talk about some basics for when it comes to arena. If you are versus a modder, the best way to really stall a modder is going to have a units with last ditch on your team. Because if they don't have last ditch, the score is just going to keep on going and going and going and going and never stop. But if they have last ditch, you can see it takes some time for them to come up. So the score isn't really flying by as much. So on this team specifically, is extra and his friends on his little group. Um, there's a Bruno that has last ditch. There's an RB Ichigo that has last ditch. Those two characters, so basically, two characters out of three have last ditch, which stalls the modder enough to basically see the score isn't really that far. 25,000 to 54,000, that's basically one score still away from extra catching up, right? But you will see in the gameplay that it just keeps on going and going and going. Now, let me show you why fighting against a modder is extremely annoying. So, if you jump over here, uh, we jump over here to about right here. So we have five seconds left. You can see x is ready saying, good work, everyone, assuming the game is going to end. That's not going to be the case. Since there is a modder, I don't know what triggers this specifically, but whenever there is a modern arena, their game could go on and on and on for a little bit, for a while after the timer does hit zero. Again, I don't know what really causes this, because obviously I, I'm not a modder, so how am I supposed to know? But whenever there's a modder, I've seen this before happen in my case, whenever I fight, fight against modders. Um, the game will keep on going. So you see Xro notices that the game will keep going. Say go for a score still because he could definitely win this game because he's Ichigo. If you don't know, Ichigo is absolutely cracked as a unit. Frenzy 3 in Arena. Like, he, nothing's stopping this Ichigo. Especially since Xro has 10 boosts. So he's going to one-shot everything in the entire game regardless, right? So you can see the score going 65,000 to 177,000, uh, almost 200K. But that score steal right there was very, very important because that put extra ahead and that what makes them eventually win the entire game. The game goes on for a little bit longer. Um, but again, I'm just showing you that this is the map. This is basically how it, it looks like you're modding, but you're not. In this gameplay, that Toshiro is a mod, hence why he's in the thumbnail. But you could win against modders, <laughs> but it's extremely rare. But again, thanks to where Caleb is currently at nowadays, they are banning modders and potentially real players, which does hurt a lot. Because again, I think Arena's already in a bad spot and banning the people that actually play Arena puts it in even, even a worse spot. So you can see right here, he does win. Because um, I do want to emphasize and show you that you can actually hit these high scores and you can win against modders, right? That's a side note. But as you can see here, 93k, 73k, 75k, and then you can see the Toshio having 165k alone by himself. But again, I just want to show you that you can definitely win against modders, but ah, it's very tight. It does depend on your team. If you don't have any last ditch, it ain't going to work. But I also want to show this video because... This is the map that you have to be extremely careful for. Because, I, again, I don't know if if it's an automated ban or people submit their tickets. Because, again, if it's someone having to submit their own tickets, right, without any single proof. Let's say I'm against Extro and I say, oh, I lost so bad, I'm going to go report Extro as modding, right? You report it. You type the report up, boom, and they instant ban without even looking. We don't know how it really works. Um, again, we talked about in the other video today that at, they said after their game ended, they got banned. So, it's a bit iffy. That looks like an automated ban. That's not even sending the ticket in. But, other than that, that is pretty much a little video today. I just want to talk about this gameplay in the background. I'm saying that you could win against modding, and this is basically the max. I wanted to show some gameplay to it, right? He did send me a video after I already made the video earlier, but this is just another follow-up video. But on that, that was a fun little video. Um, he, he, like I said, he told me to live react to it. That wasn't gonna work because I already watched it. <laughs> but on that, thank you so much for the video. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.